first and foremost, want to give you our praises and uh, glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem, Raka Kodash, Dublin is the apostles and they look going to be wake up. Right, they go up because they, they don't they don't know they don't know the Hebrew and they don't know the Greek. So they read it as it is and think this would mean. Right? But the mysteries, which is the secret, was only revealed to the hundred and forty four thousand. And the one third gonna believe on these men. Right? And they're gonna be saved. Um this is a um, Colossians chapter um, Alright, someone. Alright. Yeah, so you know, you know, Genesis, Genesis one oh one, you know. Especially these um different religious sect, you know. They 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 break the down, they go totally off on that. Right? When they're going when they're doing the they break down on that, right? They go totally off on it, not having the understanding. You know, with, with, with speaking about, right? <clears throat> There's this collision, chapter 1, verse um, 25. He said, Wherefore I am made a minister according to the dispensation of the Mosai, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of the Mosai, even the mystery, which is the secret, which had been hid from ages and from generation. But now it's made manifest that his saints is made manifest their saints. So who's the saints? Right? Who's the saints say how about Shem Yahushai? Right? Um get a quick precept. Right, this mystery was revealed to the saints. Right? And according to the scripture, the saints is the Israelite, but not all Israel get this knowledge. Right? Um the Psalms as the same Ecclesiasticus um, and 6, I think verse 23, uh, wisdom is according to her name, it's roughly paraphrasing, but she wasn't revealed unto many, right? This knowledge wasn't revealed unto many. It does the men that Yahweh Hashem Yahushai choose, you know, to to, um, to reveal this knowledge too, right? Um, Psalms 148, uh, verse 14, he said, he also exalted the horns of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise he the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So the saints, right? The saints is who? The Israelites. But not all Israel receive this knowledge, right? Not all Israel receive the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures, right? Um, let me get that in Romans, right? It's not all, not the whole nation of Israel get this knowledge, but in the kingdom of heaven, you know, all Israelites gonna have this knowledge, but on this side is only the elect, right? Only the elect gonna have this knowledge, 144,000, right? These are the men who gonna govern the world, the new world to come, which is the kingdom of heaven, you know, under, under Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior, King David, the 24, Right? Asalaki the twelve and then the hundred and forty four thousand. Right? This is Romans chapter eleven. Right? This is Romans chapter eleven verse seven. He said, What then? Israel, which is Yusoka Negroes, Latin and Native American Indian, he said, What then? Israel had not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election, which is the elect, right, had obtained it, and the rest were blinded. So yeah, the, the Israelites are the saints, but only the elect of the saints get get this get this receive this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, right? And the believers who gonna believe on on the on the on the on the men that every father Yahweh Bashim Yahshua set up to teach, but this knowledge and the mystery, the scriptures was only revealed unto the saints, right? It was only revealed unto the saints, right? Um, this is, let um, get this one in. <clears throat> right, because it's, it's a mystery. Right, the most I hide, the most I hide it. Right? The most I hide it. Right? 
um, this is, um, Um, so like, yeah, this is Romans, Romans chapter 16, yeah, Romans chapter 16, verse 25, he said no, he said no to him, that is, that is of power to establish you according to my gospel and to the preaching of Yahweh Shai according to the revelation of the mystery which was kept secret since the, since the world began. So the most I hide these um these secrets, right? That's why a lot of people, especially these Christians, when they read Gen um Genesis <coughs> so like, yeah. Genesis one oh one, they're thinking they're thinking the, the, the heavenly father Yahweh, you know, he was there by himself. And he do that he do all this work by himself. You know? When they read it in the English, that's what they come up with. But it wasn't revealed unto them, right? It's a mystery. The most I hide it, right? He said, um, he said, but now it's made manifest and by the scriptures of the prophet is made manifest by the scriptures of the prophets. So the most I give these men the wisdom that I understand in the scripture to what reveal it unto who? Reveal it unto the world, which is the Israelite, which is Yusuf and Negroes, Latin and Native American Indian. So the elect can hear it and be wake, waking up and be sealed and to Tell to daughter of people of, of the nation of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latin, Native American Indian, that you're going to be destroyed. And these are the heathen nation, you know, your future, your future judgment, that you're going to be, you're going to be perpetual slaves, right? And you so-called white race, you're going to be, you're going to be in slavery for a thousand years. And after a thousand years, you're going to be eradicated, right? These is the mysteries that was, that the, that the men that the Heavenly Father said are going to bring out, right? He said, but now it's made manifest and by the scriptures of the prophets, according to the commandments of the everlasting power, Yahweh, made known to all nations for the obedience of faith. So all nations mean the Israelites scattered all the nation, right? Got to James 101, to the 12 tribes that scatter abroad, greetings, roughly paraphrasing, right? To the elegant become out of all nations. Right, the Israelite that was scattered among these nations. Right? So this is really um this is really the the, the, the men that the most I set up gonna be doing, given the understanding of the scriptures. Right? Um get this one in Nehemiah, right? Because it was it's a secret that was hidden and it was only revealed to the men that the most I set up, that the most I give it to, right? Um this is Nehemiah. Right. So like I mentioned just now, when they read Genesis 1 and 1, they think, they think, and it's, the thinking is the Heavenly Father, who the Holy God, God, they're saying God, 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 um, you know, do everything, but no, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh, Yahweh, he didn't did anything, he's still on his throne. Right. There's a mystery. Right. Now we go into that and we can see who, who do the work. Right. Um, this is um, Nehemiah 8 and 8, right? This is Nehemiah chapter 8, verse 8. So they read in the book, in the law of Yahweh, distinct, distinctly and give the sense and cause them to understand the reading, right? And this would, and this really meant that the most I set up doing, you know, causing the people, especially the elect, that are going to be sealed, to give them understanding of the scriptures. What they supposed to do to obtain salvation? That they're supposed to repent and turn back to the heritage that they are Israelites, right? And breaking down these mysteries because it was these is things that the heavenly Father hide, right? Um, we get to say the most I hide, the most I hide it, right? Um, this is um, and he hide it right in the right in the scriptures. He hide it. That's why a lot of you is like when you read the scriptures said the Bible contradicting itself because we have no you have no understanding. It wasn't given to you. You understand? And when and when the most high put the men to teach to give you the understanding, you still can't get it to me, the most high allow you to get it. A man can't receive not nothing unless it was given from above. You understand? So if the most high give you this, you can't get it. Right? Um 
This is Proverbs 20, 25 and 2. He said, it is a glory of Yahweh to conceal a thing, mean to hide. Right? He said, but the honor of kings is to search out the matter. So the most I put the spirit and the men them to sort the scriptures. And he set up men to teach. You understand? He set up men to teach to give the understanding of these scriptures. Right? Let me get the apocalypse for the right. This we did. Um this is uh second address, right? Um second address chapter fourteen, right? Um and this is when um this is when the most I tell um Ezra, it's really Moses I was telling Ezra that you know Moses no Moses was not from the beginning to the ending. That's why Moses could have write you know the 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 the, 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 the uh, about the about the beginning of the um the creation of the earth and these things. Moses could have write about these things, Moses could have write about his death. Because what the Moses I revealed it, the most I showed Moses everything. Right? The beginning and the ending. Right? Um let me start from uh, verse 1, but the point what I want to get to this in verse, verse 5 and 6, right? This is um, 2nd Ezra chapter 14, verse 1. And it came to pass upon the third day, I sat under an oak, and behold, there came a voice out of the bush over against me and said, Ezra, Ezra. And as I said, and I said, here am I, Lord. And stood, and I stood up upon my feet. Then said he unto me, In the bush I manifest and reveal myself unto Moses and talk with him when my people serve in Egypt. Right? Who's the people serve in Egypt? The Israelites. Right? There's another culture show that use now, use now no Egyptians, use now no Africans. You so called Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indian. Hey. But um Barachini A Shalamakya Bashem Yawashai Bashem Raka Kodash Bakatam. Right? Um verse four. He said, And I sent him and lead my people out of Egypt and brought him up to the mountain of Sinai, where I held him by me a long season, forty days and forty nights, right? Verse five, and told him many wondrous things. And show him the secret of the times and the end and commanded him saying. So the most I show Moses, he begin and the end. That's why I asked him Moses could have write about how we can die. You understand? Because the most I show Moses everything. Right? The secret of times. So the most I hide sort, the most I hide certain thing in these, in these scriptures, he hide it and only give it to what? A certain group of men that, that are Israelites. Right? He didn't give this knowledge to no theology school. Right? Uh, Islam, uh, Rastafarian. Right? He give it, he give it to a, a certain group of men that he chose from the first fruit, which is the 144,000. Right? They have this knowledge. Right? The heavenly knowledge. Right? He said, um, was um was six, right? He said, "These words shall thou declare, and these shall thou hide." So the heavenly Father tell you, know what? Hey, declare some of these words and hide some of these words. You understand? The same thing he said to Ezra too, right? So let me get um another precept that show that you tell Ezra the same thing. Um, second Ezra thirteen. Right? Second is just chapter 13 verse, um, um, tell actually the same thing too. Right? No, um, second is just 13. Right? So, man, let's see, I get to do Right. 
Yeah, this is um That's not Yeah, so the most I the most I hide these scriptures. You understand? It's um Is uh, I'm gonna check 12. All right, yeah. Um, so like, uh, second in chapter 12, verse um, verse 36. Right, he said, Thou only, um, this with the angel was telling, 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 um. The Ezra, right? He was saying, this is, um, second Asia chapter 12, verse 36. Thou only has been meet to know the secret of the highest. He said, um, verse 37. Therefore, write all these, th- all these things that thou has seen in a book and hide them. So, you understand? So the most I hide something or something, the most I leave to leave open. Right, he said, on verse twenty-eight, and teach them to the wise of the people whose heart thou knowest may comprehend and keep the secret. You understand, and keep the secret. So the most I have secret that the most I only reveal to certain men, right, which are Israelite, right. And when we go into Genesis one hundred one, you know that is a that is a mystery, right? That is a mystery. So the kind of man would not understand that. Right? That is a mystery. Right? They so they would read it and think that is that is who the world is going to God, God, his name is Yahweh. They think he 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 just he just come and just build, you know, he build everything. But no, Yahweh Yahweh sit on his throne. He's a great king. Yahweh have servants, right? And is 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 Yahweh Shai, right? Yahweh Shai and the hundred and forty four thousand men. Right, which is the governor will have this secret, right, that the most I revealed to, that, that the most I set up in the four kind of the earth, the teachers gospel, they are the men, along with Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior, who the world going to call Jesus, you know, build the heaven and earth that we see today, that we dwell on right now. They is who build it. Right? And we go into the scriptures and bring all these mysteries. Right? <laughs> and this is Genesis one and one, it's in the beginning. Right, I'm gonna read it for right? He said in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. So when you read this, you're gonna say, Well, no, it's God created the heaven and the earth. No. But a king don't do nothing, he's just sitting on the throne and pass order. Right? So when we go back into the Hebrew, the word is Allah Hayam, right? Or some would say Elohim, right? But Allah Hayam means angels are power are governor, right? So this wasn't speaking to the, this wasn't speaking about the heavenly, the heavenly father, right? Which is Yahweh. He sit on the throne. He didn't do anything, you know, but, you know, but give the order to his son. And his son and the, and the 144,000 angel is they who, is they who, um, is they who do the works, right? Um, when you go into the blue letter Bible, they go into the word, the word God in Genesis 101, it can give it, it can say into the word Elohim, Elohim right? Um, you get today. So this, this, this was this, this is, this is a mystery that was only revealed to a certain men to teach. And the ones who believe, the Israelites who believe, when they say whosoever mean the Israelites who believe, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna be sealed. Right? They're gonna be sealed. Right? Uh, this is Genesis, right? The Genesis 101, it said, in the beginning, right? It said, it said, God created the heavens and the earth. Let me go into the word God there, right? 
in the blue letter, right? It's saying Elohim, right? Strong's H 430, entry one. Eloah. Eloah. Second entry. Elohim. Elohim. And the third entry. Eloah. Eloah. Right, so it's an Elohim, right? And it, and that is plural, right? There's more than one. Elohim mean more than one. Right? It's your rulers, judges, divine ones, angel, gods. Right? Gods. Right? The most I say he are he are he are gods. Right? Who is he? The Israelites, right? Um, let me get that. Right? And um in John. Right, um, John ten and thirty four. Right, this is John ten and thirty four, and this way how shall I say? We were saying to the Jews, right? John ten and thirty four. Yeah, how shall I answer them? It is written. It is not written in your law. I said, he are gods, right? So the Israelites are gods, right? The men, right? They are gods, right? So the 144,000 men, they are gods, right? They was David, Yahweh Shai, who, who created the heaven and earth, right? This way Yahweh Shai said to the Jews, right? It's written in the law too, which is Psalms, which is Psalms 82 and 6, right? Which is Psalms 82 and 6. Let me get it quick, right? So this is a mystery. This is Psalms 82. Right, Psalms 82 and 6. He said, I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are the children of the Mosai. So the word that the word is supposed to be Banyam, which is son. Right? Which is son. You understand? So the Mosai say we are, you know, he are, we are gods. Right? That's why we're going to the word, the word Elohim, right? Elohim in the in the um in the strongs four thirty it's a Elohim which is plural which is more than one right which is more than one that's why when you read when you read Genesis one and um twenty seven right uh is one and um um no Salakia one and twenty six and this would say I'm gonna read I'm gonna read it for Bayum and then I'm read it the way it's supposed to read. Um, this is Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fishes of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the, over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So we read it like that. You will say, well, this Bible contradicting itself. Because how, how, how God say let us, when it's saying in verse 1, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. So you will say, you know what, this contradicted itself because well, you don't have no understanding. So when we go back into the, go back into the, 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 the Hebrew or the Greek, you're going to see Elohim, which is plural, which is more than one, right? That's why it say, in, um, we just read in Psalms, Psalms 82 and 6 and John John 10 and 34, Yahweh Shai say he are gods. He was speaking to the Israelites. Right? And the 144,000 is the is the governors was there with Yahweh Shai creating the heaven and the earth. Right? This heaven and the earth, this third dimension, this heaven and the earth right, that we dwell in. Right? So it's a it's a plurality, ruler judges, judges, divine ones, angel, gods, right? So when you when we read back read back um, Genesis 1 and 27 now, 26, it say, and the gods are the angels are the governor, said let us make man in our image. So there was more than one doing the works. It was Yahweh Shai, who the world is going to call Jesus, and the 144,000, right? They was they doing the works, right? Let me get another precept, right? To make this 
to make this plain as day, you know. Wanna just keep it keep it plain as day. So you know the elect anyway though the elect gonna the elect gonna understand it. You understand? The elect gonna get it. Right? This is um uh right this is um what is it um for us Ezra six and thirteen this is first Ezra chapter six verse thirteen so they give us this um uh Mr Mr Wilker start from I'm gonna start from verse eleven first Ezra chapter six verse eleven then asked we the elder saying by whose commandment build he this house and lay the foundation of these works therefore therefore to the intent that we might give a knowledge unto unto thee by writing uh we demand of thee who were who were the chief doer and we require of of um the, of them the name of in writing of our of our principal men so they give us this answer we are the servant of the lord which made heaven and earth right we are the servant of the lord of we are the, we are the servant of the lord which made heaven and earth this heaven and the earth that we dwell in the sky is the heaven and this earth right you understand yahweh shai and the 144000 is they do the work right yahweh shai and the 144000 let me get let me get next piece of this, right? Um, let me go to um. So matter of fact, let me go back to Genesis one and one, right? So are we gonna read this now in Genesis one and one? You're gonna say, in the beginning, the powers create the heaven and the earth. The powers, right? Which is the Allah Allah Hayam, right? The powers Yahweh Shai and the and the angel, which is the hundred forty four thousand. Right, they create the heaven and the earth, right? Um here we get John one oh one, right? Um this is John, right? Um John Uh, this is John chapter one verse one. He said, "In the beginning was the word. In the beginning was the word. Who's the word? The word is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the word, right? Let me get a quick precept, right? Yahweh Shai would be what call Jesus. He's that word, right? Uh, this is um, this is um, Revelation um." Uh, Revelation chapter 19 verse 11. And I saw heaven open and behold a white horse and he that sat upon him was called faithful and truth. This is Yahweh Shai. And in righteousness do he judge and make war. And the horse is a chariot. Horse represent power. Right? White represent righteousness. Right? Um, verse, verse 12. His eyes was as the flame of fire. Right, his eyes was a flame of fire. Revelation one and one and fourteen. Right, you understand? His eyes was as a flame of fire. Speaking about Yahweh Shai. Right, and and on his head were many crowns, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name he said, and his name is called the Word of God. Right, so Yahusha is that word, right? So we go back in John one and one. He said, "In the beginning was the word, which is Yahusha, and the word was with powers that are God there, but the word is El 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 right? Right? So in the he said, um, in the beginning was the word, which is Yahusha, and the word Yahusha was with the powers, which is Elohim." The powers, the angel, right? And the word, and the word was powers, right? And the word was powers, right? The same was in the beginning with the powers. All things were made by him. All things were made by him, which is Yahweh Shai. And without him was nothing, 
was not anything made that was made. You understand? Let me jump down to um uh verse right. Let me jump down to um, <clears throat> this is um verse ten, right? John one and ten. He said he which is Yahushai was in the world and the world was made by him. And the world knew him not. So Yahusha is who made the world and the world knew him not. You understand? And next precept prick. This is Hebrew. Right? You understand? This is Hebrews chapter 1 verse 1. He said, Yahweh, who at sun dry time and in diverse manner speak in time past unto the Father by the prophets, had he in these last days spoken by us, Spoken unto us by his son, which is Yahweh Shai, who the world going to God Jesus, right? Um, whom he had appointed heirs of all things. So he appointed all things unto his son, right? Who he said, whom he had appointed heirs of all things, by whom also he, Yahweh Shai, made the worlds. So Yahweh Shai created everything that we see. Yahweh Shai create all these other nations. Right? Yahweh Shai do that. You understand? Right? So we go back in um, John 1 and 10. He said, He was in the world and, and, the, and the world was made by him and the world knew him not. You understand? The world knew him not. Right? So Yahweh Shai and the Holy Angel is to do the works. Right in Gen in um, Genesis one and one is going speaking about who, speaking about the 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 um the the the, the powers right it's speaking about the powers you understand that's we're speaking about the powers right <clears throat> we get collisions right and then we can go back to the Genesis right. Uh, this is um this is uh Colossians um yeah this is Colossians chapter one verse fourteen in whom we have redemption through his blood right mean through his word even even forgiveness of sin so through his word who word Yahweh Shai right. Yahweh Shai is the word of, the word of Yahweh, right? Verse 15, he said, who, who is the image of the invisible power? Yahweh Shai is the image of the invisible power. Yahweh Shai looked just like your father. You understand? He said, the firstborn of every creature. So Yahweh Shai is the firstborn of every creature, right? He said, for by him were all things created. For by him, Yahweh Shai created all things. Right, and he had the hundred and forty-four thousand angels with him, which is the governor. Some of them, some of them back in the spiritual realm, and some of them on the earth today that are gonna be delivered, right? Which is these same men that out there on the highways and byways preaching this gospel and do this video pestle. These are the same men who was in the beginning with Yahweh Shai creating the heaven and the earth. That, that you demon, you demonic white people destroying. This is why you are gonna be destroyed. This is the same man you are demonizing through your media, right? And saying all the kind of man, the evil thing of us. But we know that you're going to do these things because it was written that you devil is going to do these things. And our own people are going to demonize us. Our own family, right? So-called family. Our own so-called friends are going to do these things to us, right? This is the same man out there, the sincere brothers of the hopeful elect. They was there with your house shy building everything. That's why you see, when they look at the state of the earth and they see the state of the earth, when the state of the earth in, it vexes the spirit. You understand? It vexes the spirit, right? So it's a, um, it's a, for some, <clears throat> for 16, Colossians chapter 1, verse 16, for by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in the earth, visible and invisible. Whether they be thrones, right, or dominion or principality, 
or power, Yahweh shall create Satan too. Yahweh shall create the angels on the right on the right hand side and the angels on the left hand side. Yahweh shall do all of that. Right? That's what we read about here. He said, For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether by whether whether they be thrones or dominion or principality or power, all things were created by him and for him. Right? This way Yahweh Shai did. And for him, right, for 17, and and he is before all things. Yahweh Shai is before all things. Yahweh created Yahweh Shai for us. He's the first born of every creature. Right? He said, and he is and he is before all things, and by him all things consist, and by him all things consist. Right? So as Yahweh Shai and the holy angel was back there. Doing, creating the heaven, the earth, they plant the trees, the animals, the seas, the mountains, create all these nations. You understand? These are the same men that you are scoffing and, and saying that kind of evil thing about them. Right? Right? Um, let me get this one in um, Proverbs. Right? Show that Yahweh was there in the beginning. The, heaven, the heavenly father is a great king. Right? The Heavenly Father is a great king. You don't have to come off your throne to do nothing. Let me look, let me look at, look at, um, look, look at McDonald, right? I don't know who personally owned McDonald, right? But the owner of McDonald, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't came and, and build and put a nail, uh, put a block or some matter on, on these, uh, McDonald outlet that we've seen around the world. No, he didn't come and do nothing. He had people to do that for him. But when, when the project finished and they asked who built the building, they can say, oh, McDonald, let's McDonald build that. There's McDonald building. McDonald building a building down, down the third block on the right. He built a building. But it's not literally McDonald himself come and say, no, I kneel and kneel and, and put up a wood. No, he didn't do that. He didn't do it. But that was his idea. But he has servants. And they bring the idea into reality. How hard is it for you dumb niggas to understand? The heavenly father sits on his throne and he passed the order. And his son and the 144,000, they do the job. His son was the contractor. The 144,000 was the workers under the house shy. Right? This is, um, I see, brother, hey, Israelite four corners, that, hey, shalom, shalom, yaw bashem, yaw shai, bashem, rakakodash, rakatam, he must fall on 13. All right, I'm going to say Amos 4 and 13. Then. All right. So there's a mystery that was only revealed unto the, um, unto the saints, the elect of the saints of Israel. Right. The most who give that. You understand? No man can, no man can obtain his knowledge by himself. He gotta, he gotta, the most have to give it unto him. All right. Um, this is Amos 4 and 13. Right, get this here from the brother from the comment board. Right, Amos chapter four, verse thirteen. He said, "For lo, he that formed the mountains and created the wind, and declared unto man what is his thought. Yeah, can that made it the mountain darkness, and tread it upon the high upon the high place of the earth. The Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, the power of the host is his name. Can." Right? That uh, Yapa precept. Right? Understand? Um, and Yahweh Shai was there. He was there in the beginning with his father. Right? Let me get it, let me get it in um, Proverbs. Right? Um, this is Proverbs. Right? Uh, this is Proverbs chapter 8, verse 22. Right? Proverbs chapter 8, verse 22. He said, the Lord, the Lord Yahweh possessed me in the beginning. And we know Proverbs is King Solomon and we know King Solomon through the spirit is Yahweh Shai. Because the same spirit was in Yahweh Shai with the same spirit in King Solomon. Right? This is, um, this is, um, Proverbs chapter 8 verse 22. He said, the Lord possessed me in the beginning of his ways before, before his works of old. 
I was set up from everlasting, even, even, it says, Salaki, I was set up from everlasting from the beginning or ever for, he said, or ever the earth was. He said, when there was no depths, I was brought forth. He said, when there were no fountain abounding with water before the mountain was settled, there, he said, before the hills was, I brought forth while yet he had not made the earth, hear this here, hear this one clearly, while as yet he had not made the earth, nor the field, nor the highest part of the dust of the world, when he prepared the heavens, I was there, when he set a compass upon the face of the depths, when he established the clouds above, when he stre stretched, stretched, stretched the foundation of the depth, when he gave to the sea his decree that the water should not pass his commandment, when he appointed the foundation of the earth, then I was by him as one brought up with him, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in the in the inhabitant inhab inhabitable part of the of his earth, and by and by my delight were with the son of men. So Yahushai was there with his father, right? He was there with his father before, before, before the earth ever come into his existence. You understand? The angels, everybody was there, right? You understand? They was there, right? So let me go back to, um, let me go back to Genesis 101, right? This is the correct way to read Genesis 101. He said, in the beginning, the powers or the angels or the governors or the divine ones, right? Got the word for powers, Elohim, right? Which is pure, which is more than one, right? He said, in the beginning, the powers created the heaven and the earth, right? And we jump to verse 26, right? He said, and the powers said, let us make man, let us more than one. So we understand why they say this, let us make man, because the word God is Elohim, which is pure, which means more than one, right? He said, let us, and the power said, let us make make man in our image. So what's the image of the angels? The image of the angel is ardor. They, 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 they deal with ardors. So the ardors was given to what the Israelites which is the ordinance of Yahweh Bashem Yahshem, which is the laws, right? And the man, the man who the law was given to was who Adam, right? You understand? He said, he said, and the powers said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let him have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth, over all the earth and over every creeping thing that that creep it upon the earth. So this is why the, this is why you're reading for 26 to say let us, right? Because they were more than they were more than one in the beginning who were creating, who are who are doing the works, creating the heavens and the earth, right? See my brother from um, um Israelite for Kanazar put up second is just six six three to six can done. I had a piece, piece up all year to read now. <laughs> yeah, I had a piece up all year to read there. Yeah. Um, second is just, um, this is second is just chapter three. Um, right, he said three and he said, um, second is just chapter six. Oh, second is just chapter six, verse three to six. Gone. Nah, this one. Uh, that was a different one. All right, gone, gone. All right. Second is just chapter three, verse six. No, sorry. Second is just chapter six, verse three to six. Uh, he said, he said before the salaki. Second is just chapter six, verse three. He said before the fair flower was seen, or ever the over. 
um, ever the movable powers were established before the innumerable multitude of angels were gathered together, he said, or ever the heights of the ear were lift up before the mountains or the firmament were named, or ever the or ever the um the clim climacy in Zion were hot. Yeah, he said, and ever the present years were sought out and or ever the invention of them that now sin were turned. He said, he said before they were sealed that that have got that have um gather he said gather feet of the treasure. Then did I consider these things and they all were made through me. He said alone and true none other by me also they shall be ended and by none other. This is why Yahweh Shai is that like Yahweh Precepta. This is why Yahweh Shai say he's the Alpha and the Omega. Yahweh Shai is the Alpha and the Omega. Meaning he's the easy begin and the end. You understand? This is a Yahweh Precept. The one I had in the one I had in mind was um second um current second Ezra three and um three and six, but this is a Yahweh Precept here, Actor Water. You understand? This is a this this is a Yapa precept, right? This is what I had in um. This this is what I had in um. This is Second Ezra chapter three, verse six. He said, "And thou leadest him into the into paradise with which which thy right hand had planted, and Yahweh Shai is the Most High right hand, because he is who sit on the right hand and Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So Yahweh Shai is the right hand. You understand? So this is one that I had in had in mind. But this is a, this is a Yapa precept here. The second is just six, three to six. You understand? This is a this this is a Yapa precept. Yeah, so you know the mystery, the mystery was only revealed revealed unto the um unto unto the um the the the, the saints of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know the most high the most high the most high hide these scriptures, right? And reveal it unto the only unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Right, which is the hundred and forty-four thousand, right? And close after this one here. This is um Ecclesiastical chapter six, verse twenty-two. He said, For wisdom is according to her name, and she is not manifest unto many, right? And wisdom is not manifest unto many, right? Only the hundred and forty-four thousand can sing this song, right? Only they can sing this song, mean break down these scriptures correctly, right? And the one third, the one third who gonna be sealed is who gonna believe on the men of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and they're gonna be sealed, right? They want to start to, you know, the birds on the coming board, you know, to water for the support, to water for the precept, right? They want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakodash, double honors to the apostles and elders who will have written the stone, and a blessed sanitation to the Akyams and the four kind of the earth to push in the gospel and sincerity and truth. Say Shalom.